Okay, I just want to clarify something. You know, I've been uh, talking about the shoulder roll thing, and there's a specific use for that. Okay, most of the time, you want to keep your headgear out. And the original idea of the meatballs and the medicine balls was to train, uncouple your hands so that you can use your hands at, to your advantage and keep your headgear out. Now, sometimes you get your headgear in, but you always want to proceed with your hands, whether, you know, to me, if you're blocking a guy, if you're blocking down on a guy, he gives you a nice broad, broad target. You don't want to mire your headgear in. You don't want to mire your shoulder in. You want to block them with your hands. You have a linebacker with, with a big chest. You don't want to put your headgear in there. You want to block them with your hands. Now you gotta, you gotta, uh, scoot on somebody. Of course you want to go one long. Okay. And one strong. That's, that's a timing issue. You got, you got somebody that's not in front of you that you have to get in front of. Okay. The one long, one strong really solves some problems. Okay. But if you have a guy that's bare, that's in front of you and you've got to get punch on him. Okay. And he's not giving you anything to hit other, other than his shoulder pads and his helmet. And he's going to lock you out. You want to dip and get under him. Okay. You want to delay that hand contact. This is for double teams. This is for inside zone, duo, that sort of thing. Okay. If you have, again, if you have an angle on a guy, different story. Okay. So that's, that's my little tidbit today. Anyway.